Because I'm moving, I'm selling my bookshelves. I won't need them where I'm going. And someone is coming to see them tomorrow morning. So I want to empty one in case they want to see it empty, if they want to handle it. So I'm going to empty this one because this is going to be easier. It's going to be a mess. I didn't want to empty my shelves before they were sold because uh, I won't be moving for another few weeks. But I, it would be really nice if they are sold tomorrow. I've sold my shelves, uh, the buyer has taken all of them but two and that's when you have to empty your bookshelves when you realize how many books you have. So now I need to come up with something to do with the books until I move. Maybe I, I'll pack them up right now or just line them up against the walls. This is going to be an interesting decorating choice. And there I'm shelfless. I'm really happy how it went. I only put the bookshelves online two days ago and the guy was really nice. He didn't haggle, he took everything. It's just, it was a really nice experience. I was a bit apprehensive to do, uh, to sell something in person. I didn't know how I would react if a buyer would haggle. It's always a bit tricky to have someone uh, come to your home, know your address, visit your apartment and see what you have to sell because I couldn't just bring all my stuff on the curb. I didn't know if he would buy the shelves. I didn't sell them via Facebook Marketplace. I sell them via a website called Le Bon Coin. And it was really nice. The payment was secure, all done electronically. So I'm really happy. This is so nice. I thought this would stress me out so much to have to think about selling the shelves, having to talk to buyers, and it's just done in two days. That's really nice. Now, <laughs> I have to decide what to do with the books, if I'm going to box them up already or just line them against a wall. Little moving tip, when you're packing books, don't pack your box full of books because it's going to be super heavy. I usually pack the boxes uh, half with books and half with clothes or things that are not heavy and just mark really precisely what you have in the box.
my office uh, is in a bit of a mess. I filmed a video a few days ago. I had to take pictures for the miniature, so I basically did not tidy up anything because I was really tired with work. So it, it won't be long to tidy it up anyway, so I just thought I would film myself. And yes, I'm watching Hawaii Five O, and it's the best show in the entire world. This guy can fight shark and go up to planes on a horse. It's just, it's amazing. What I have here is part of the stuff I brought back from my classroom. And I think I'm going to pack it up uh, right away for my move. I also need to tidy up this and this. And also this, uh, these are vacuum seal bags I bought for uh, to try on in my carry-on. And yeah, I need to I need to clear up my desk too. Sorry about the fan noise, but it's basically 26 degrees in my apartment and it's just too damn hot to not have the fan on constantly. Also, I did not film myself while I was tidying up all of these things I brought back from school. It was getting too hot to have to move the camera and to do something. I was just getting way too overheated. So I put all of my school things in these boxes. I continued to label, I updated my moving list and I have a few odds and ends to finish to have this office tidied up. So these are all the bags I brought back from work, so I need to organize it and pack it. I have all these books to pack still and I also have those DVDs to pack and the books that are scattered around my apartment that I forgot I had because there's just basically always been there. All of that is just recycling because they don't do recycling at my school so I always uh, bring it back home. These are all the games I made for my students.
So we have some organizers here. I'm not sure I'm going to pack them because they're not the best quality and I, I, I'm afraid they will break if I put them in a box with some stuff on it. So maybe I'm going to keep them in the bag. done my usual organizing things. I've made piles of like objects and then I'm going to take them to their proper places but I'm not going to micro organize as I would usually do because it's so oh, it's been so overwhelming to have so many things to tidy up. Not only to tidy up but to pack up and to know if I'm going to need them while I'm away and in which box to put them. It's just been it's just been really tiring, so I'm going to organize them to make it easier when I eventually have to unpack, but... I'm working on next week's video, which is going to be either my sketchbook tour or my plan care tips, uh, depending on how I like what I filmed for my sketchbook tour. But what I wanted to tell you was that I'm very happy that this candle is almost over. It has been one of my objectives to finish this candle before the move because I've moved with it and I didn't want to be moving back again, packing it. And it's a bit of a silly objective because I have a lot of other candles that I haven't finished. But this one is going to be finished and bonus thing, I'm going to be able to use the lovely label in my scrapbook. Okay, so I just woke up. But I've had enough and to tidy this up, I need to pack it up. It's been a week since I unpacked everything and started to organize it. But it, uh, it was my last week of giving classes and it's been really rough, especially with the temperatures. And uh, because every time I started thinking about tidying everything up and packing it up, I was like, no, I need to film it and I didn't have the energy to film and pack at the same time, so I didn't do it. But now I'm going to give myself a little grace and I'm going to pack it up without filming it. So with the magic of editing, you will see the aftermath in three, two, one. I've made some progress, the floor is now clear. I have finished a new box here. The other day, when I was too tired to pack, I only reconstructed those boxes that had been flattened, so they're ready to be filled. And a part of my method to packing up is to organize like objects together before I pack them. So I have gathered all the books I had, all the, the rest of the books I had lying around the apartment as decoration or in my office. I've also started to put some of the fragile decoration stuff on the table. I've put the plants in the same area here. So now my objective is to pack what's left in this place and I think I'm going to gather everything I need to pack in this area.
I use a letter opener to separate the two command strips from the wall because I don't leave the little tab hanging because it's very ugly. I need something to pry the frames from the wall and not damage the frames or the wall. See? There. And I leave the strips on the frame to not waste them. These ones won't be useful anymore, but these w would still work great. And there is no trace on the wall. I've made some progress packing. I have almost emptied this shelf. I've also been working on these drawers and this one is totally empty, save for some things I'm going to need during the move. I have several new boxes that are completely finished and taped. These boxes are not completely finished because they're filled with books and I haven't filled them up completely. I need to complete them with some lighter items, so I need to do that later. And I have all these books to pack, but maybe I will rest. Well, I continued packing, I was on the road. I almost emptied all of those shelves. I also emptied those. I have a lot of empty storage boxes here, so I think I'm going to have to make a box of empty boxes. All these boxes are taped and completed. Uh, just before I told you that some of the book boxes weren't finished, I did finish them, I put some cushions in them. Now, the only ones that are not completed are these ones. And I have this one that's full of packing material, but apart from that, I don't have any more empty boxes to finish packing the apartment. My packing boxes are at my parents and they are going to bring them to me. I can't do much until I have the boxes anyway. I'm not sure I'm going to be filming when my parents are here helping me moving. New day, new packing. Today I want to pack my DVDs but because I have finished using all of my boxes I'm going to use the DVDs to top up my book boxes. I'll see if it works all right. I've kept up with my packing list. It got a lot more detailed as it went on because before I only had books. Here you can see I had a lot of things I wanted to remember. For example, imagine you're looking for a glue gun and you have like 10 boxes with craft supplies in it. How are you going to know in which box the glue gun is? And the answer is box 50. I was mistaken, I found more boxes here, so I'm happy I will be able to pack more today. I want to have a lot of the packing done when my parents arrive with the boxes, because we still have a lot to do and it's going to be very tiring. I've settled on wrapping my old books in this uh, bubble wrap and trying to make it really tight, really snug, so they can't be damaged in transport. There, I have packed all the DVDs in those boxes. I have packed all the books and I have still a few empty boxes left. So I think I'm going to continue packing my office so I have a completed room. Now, the problem I have is that this windowsill is untreated wood and I put my plants on it. And uh, if you don't have any plants, you don't know what that is. It's not water damage exactly, is when you've watered plants, they sometimes have, I don't know how to explain it, they just have this dew and it trickles on every surfaces. And I had never noticed it before, but now this windowsill is kind of ruined and it looks horrible on the camera. It's less horrible in person. I'm going to try to sand it and restain it, hoping that it will save my deposit.
always a good idea to sand inside because of the dust. So now, yep, this is really good. But I think it's working. See? I need to dust it and maybe sand it again with a finer grain. But I think I saved my deposit. Okay, I've sanded it a bit more and I hoovered it and I think it's pretty good. You don't really see... Yeah, there's this spot here, but it's not horrible. I'm going to sand it with the fine grain and I think I will be finished before I need to stain it or protect it. I'm pretty excited to be doing my first before and after. So remember how damaged it was before? And now it's pretty good. You can still see some uh, lighter parts here but there were some cameras that are in real life and I'm not sure my landlord is going to fixate on that windowsill for 12 hours to decide if it's got damage or not. The next thing I have to do is to bring that to the charity shop so I don't have to move with it. I am packing so everything is a mess and obviously I've packed all of my craft supplies and what did I buy today? New miniature kits. I will include them in my haul, but look at that. Look how adorable this looks. It's exactly what I wanted to build when I bought my first miniature kit. All the little plants and the... Um, how do you call this? The hothouse? It is so cute, but obviously now I need to pack this because I'm not going to be able to make them before I move. I've sold the shelves to the next tenant so I don't need to remove them which is a big plus because I would have had to even remove the support here and fill in the holes and that would have been really annoying. Also I think it would have been stupid not to keep them because what would you want to put in that little corner here? I mean the shelves are exactly made to fit. As you can see, uh, these are quite empty. I've left on the shelves some of the things I'm going to need to pack for my travels. These things still need to be packed for the moves. And here I keep some of the, I keep some of the storage boxes I have no use for anymore. I haven't removed yet my a magnetic board because I still wanted to use it but now it needs to come down. Alright, little update about the move. Uh, my parents have gone to the bakery so I can film. As you can see this is chaos. I have a lot more boxes and suitcases and baskets. I need to pack all these fragile things and it's giving me a lot of anxiety. I have a lot more boxes already packed. See a lot more boxes. I've run out of packing tape so I'm using painter's tape. Uh, with any luck it will stay put for a bit. I need to empty all the kitchen cabinets but I do not have a lot of kitchen things so it's going to be relatively quick. Here everything is almost all packed. I need to remove this lamp. We need to remove the coat rack. In the bedroom I need to remove these photo shelves. Uh, as you can see the wardrobe is almost empty. I've removed all the rugs already. In my little uh, nook here uh, the rug is also gone. This is almost empty. This is almost gone too. We have to remove all the curtains. Yeah, disassemble the beds, etc. So this is going to be fun because I have uh, the... Um, I don't know how to say this in English. The, when you meet your landlord and you give back the keys at 6 p.m. It's now 8. So we need to pack everything and put them in the truck before 6 p.m. That's going to be fun. It's the only casualty of um, command strips here, yeah, this, yeah, I don't know why it, I haven't had any problem in all of the flat, but here I need to 
some of this filleting and painted and voila the coat rack is off now i have these two big holes to fill i hope the filler is going to dry quickly mm -hmm. 